Hello and welcome to Access UTV. I thought I'd introduce you to my new little friends. Hey guys, how you doing? You having fun this morning? What you been eating? You still got it in your beak. <laughs> how did I get so lucky to have you here? Oh, you're pretty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Check you out. That wasn't what I was going to talk about in my vlog today, but thank you for joining me. <laughs> I must say, as I came out here to, onto the front balcony of our room, I've got the sun right here, so that's why I'm shining a bit. Um, I actually wanted to show you the beauty from this direction. And so, asking you shall receive, these beautiful birds have been to visit each morning um, and each evening. And how did I get so lucky? Like, look at this view behind me. You can see out to the... Um, the river out there as it comes down to the beach here at Noosa and oh, so what have you been asking for that when it shows up you haven't acknowledged that you are asking for it how much fun are you asking for are you actually asking for the life that you desire or are you just asking for little bits <laughs> just little bits I was listening to a um, a recording of a class with Crystal Crawford, um, her Money Bomb series, and she she asked somebody in the call, "Are you actually asking for big enough?" And when I look at what I've been asking for, I haven't been asking for big enough. And when I look at what I actually desire, I've been going. Oh, oh no, no. And I've been shutting down the desire, shutting down the request and not asking for what I actually desire. So how big a life do you actually desire that you're not willing to acknowledge? What have you not been willing to ask for that if you were willing to ask for it would show up? So <laughs> how much fun can you have asking for your life? asking for what you desire and how often do you shut down your ask because it doesn't fit with what those around you are willing to receive um, you know how often do does a wife or a husband not ask for that gigantic income because their partner can't receive it and so to stay in relationship with them they've got to keep their income at a level that their partner can actually receive is that a kindness to you and if you were truly being kind to you what would you ask for if you were truly being creating the life and living and planet you desire what would you ask for and Another question that comes up a lot in Access, and I heard it again on Crystal's call, is who or what would you have to lose to receive all of you and everything you desire? Wow! Well, and are you willing to lose them? Or that? Or whatever it is? You know, some of us have to lose a job to be able to step up and create the money flows that we know are possible. Some of us have to lose a partner, or a friend, or a parent. Some of us have to lose your house, your car, your jewellery, everything. Lose everything before you're willing to step up and do what it takes to create it. So what are you unwilling to lose? That if you're willing to lose it, you could have everything. And what decisions or judgments do you have of who or what you'd have to lose that you're not willing to lose that if you had if you stepped up be you changed the world and had the life and living you desire they would be so super happy so super excited and they would be receiving what they desire but you've been projecting that they couldn't receive it whoa everything that is times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all please Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. So that's the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement. If you haven't come across it before, jump to theclearingstatement.com. And um, what else is possible if you were willing to actually ask for what you desire? 
Would you be willing to look through your life and notice what you've asked for and what's shown up? And when things show up that uh, don't really match what you think you were asking for, what if you were to ask, what did I ask for that had this show up? And pock and pot all that. <laughs> all right, so thanks for joining me here, everyone. And how much more fun can you have if you are truly choosing for you and asking for what you desire. Have fun and I'll see you soon. Bye.